We all know that water is life. Without it, we cannot survive. But for many of us, water is becoming more and more difficult to obtain or have on a regular basis. As rains in our country are becoming more scarce and more unpredictable, this problem is increasing and our plants, livestock and families are suffering. Like this season, we did plant, thinking that the rain will come in time. But to our surprise, the rain came very late. And you will find even our harvest now, we are, not, we are expecting 80%. It is gone now to 40% only. Not only that, even with the side of vegetable, we cannot grow vegetable now unless now we use water from the spring. So we are really is a problem with the climate change within this area. This climate change that is affecting all of the world is not the only problem when it comes to water. For some, when the rains do fall, there is a terrible problem of flooding. This may be due to heavier downfalls caused by climate change, but it's also due to deforestation. With no trees to hold the soil together or absorb the water underground, it has nowhere to go but over the surface of the soil, washing it away into the ocean and lakes where it is of no use to us. On its way to the lakes or seas, the people in the valleys will be the ones to suffer. Tunaletoga misada kama hema, wengine wakaisi kwa chief camp wakaletoga vyakula, maisa inakuwa ngumu. Both these problems of flooding and scarcity of water can either be made worse or substantially improved by the way we choose to live. First of all, it is of extreme importance that we recognize the connection between trees and water. I came here in 1975, that is, I was married here in 1975, during those days, these hills were covered with trees. It was bushy, I mean it was a forest. And we used to have rain almost every single day of the year. From around 1.30 we were sure it was going to rain, till about 3 p.m. or 4. And then people started cutting down trees for charcoal and firewood and the forest has disappeared. And we do not have those rains anymore. We are not even sure of our long rainy seasons, and we hardly even dream of the short rain seasons. Deforestation has caused us a great deal of problems when it comes to water supply, as it lowers the water table, causing our rivers and lakes to dry up. And at the same time, it increases the possibility of seasonal flooding and soil erosion. It's the deforestation of the hills above Clarissa Butos farm that have caused her a great many problems. The way the farm is situated just below the hills, we experience a lot of uh, water runoff and topsoil erosion. And so uh, the fertility of our soil, we, don't, we no longer produce those big maize cobs that we used to in the 70s. I have seen that deteriorate down the years. With the help of SCCVI Agroforestry, Clarice has managed to go some way to solving the problem of soil erosion by putting in drainage ditches, raising her beds and paddocking her land by dividing it with paths that allow the water to flow into the beds. Trash lines along the contours will also trap the soil and slow water flow. In the previous years, before I started working with VI, my farm 
was heavily waterlogged and I was not able to grow different crops. For example, I couldn't grow sweet potatoes. But after working with VI, they taught me how to paddock my farm and to raise my little plots. And so now I am able to grow sweet potatoes without any water logging problem. Clarice also put in a water gate system to help control water availability on her farm. Since I constructed my water gate and my dam, I'm now able to water my crops even during dry seasons. And that way I think I have an upper hand compared to my neighbors. This is how my water gate system has helped me improve my farm to produce crops that I never dreamt I would grow. Because of that system, I am able to grow yams on this section because yams need a lot of water. This farm had similar problems of water runoff until the farmer put in retention ditches and planted caliandra hedgerows along the contours of his land. He also put in a small woodlot at the bottom of his sloping land to ensure the mass of water which used to collect at this point is now completely absorbed. Before I started the soil conservation interventions, uh, a lot of soil was uh, being eroded from the farm and this seriously affected me because the overall production of the farm was very, very low. Uh, for example, if I'd, I planted maize on the farm, I could get as little as one bag, one bag of maize because the soil was unproductive. The nutrients was depleted. A lot of it had gone to Lake Victoria. Then I looked at the contours, I dug the retention ditches, and uh, I started planting even caliandra trees along the contours to prevent the, the movement of water. I also ensured that water is not allowed to move even along the boundary. The water that was moving along the boundary, I made sure that is diverted to enter into the farm so that the crops within can continue using that water for a longer time. Uh, this is another way of what I've been doing in uh, uh, conserving the water. Uh, formerly I used to have a conventional type of, uh, of planting napier, but these days I've, uh, I've adapted the, the Tumbokiza type. With the Tumbokiza type, uh, the holes have uh, the capacity to retain water. We say water is a scarce resource and it has to be conserved. So the little, the little rain, even if it rains so little, it is uh, conserved within, within the holes. Uh, and it takes too long for that water to dry. Uh, it, uh, as much as it takes too long to dry, the crops, the, the, the napier, the napia uh, find a lot of time to, to feed on that water, to use the water for daily production. And uh, you see also uh, have a line of caliandra uh, running from the far end to the other end. This is also a structure which I'm using to conserve the same water. And uh, you see the caliandra are also very, very healthy because they use the water which is conserved within, within the hole. So this is another way of, of ensuring that the water is properly conserved. These systems have changed Obonio's life and made him able to withstand climate change far better than he ever could before. Even if there, are, there is drought, I don't experience a lot of problems within the farm because the water retention ca capacity is within the farm. These retention ditches you see, the, the, the waters within the retention ditches take too long to dry up. So I don't uh, uh, experience a lot of problems with drought. Another way of controlling water runoff is by putting terraces into your land. This can convert unusable wasteland to fertile fields for farming as Peter Owinyi and his father discovered. When we started utilizing this farm in agricultural produce, we had a lot of problems like a, a soil runoff where we could have the rainwater draining the soil from on top to the ground and a, we could not realize any good production in it 
like maize, we could not plant maize at that time, we could not plant things like vegetable, and uh, at this particular time, we had tried very much to use this kind of drainage, and it has helped this farmer very, very much. Uh, we realized that uh, the soil of this farm could now be maintained, and uh, we can now plant things like vegetable, the banana, and uh, we can also plant things like beans, and they can do well now. Terraces can be built either by putting the topsoil from the ditch on the upper part of the slope, where it's known as Fanya Ju, or on the lower part of the slope, where it's known as Fanya Chini. So this kind of drain is what we call Fanya Chini. That's the, the technical name of it, where we, 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 we heap the soil on the bottom of the, the slope. And uh, along, on top of it, we have planted napier grass uh, to support the soil so that the soil, the embankment can be strong. So this is the kind of drainage we are calling Fanyaju, where the kind of soil we are taking from the ditch, we are placing at the upper side of the, of the, of the, of the slope. And uh, alongside, uh, we, have also, we have also Kaliandra, which helps to uh, maintain the soil or hold the soil and also utilizes the water that it, it retains in the, in the ditch and also it's, it's also providing the nitrogen to the planted crop in the farm. Rafael Owaka has found another system known as half moon beds that has helped him with his banana crops. This, this land is somehow sloppy, so the, the, each time it rains, the soil will keep on running towards the lower end. So this is our, a way of uh, arresting the soil to make it stable. We have decided to build these buffer zones. So the buffer zones will now hold the water at the foot of the banana plant for the future usage of uh, uh, water by the banana. In this time of climate change, when we're not sure of when to expect rainfall, it's always a good idea to have your own permanent or semi-permanent supply of water. Eddie Ouko has dug a small dam and diverts all the runoff on his farm into this hole. Kwa sababu mbele ni tulikuwa na shida, sana sana wakati wa mvua, tunawana tu kama mbua hiyo maji mingi inaenda tubure. Sasa tulifundishwa hile njia yako kusanya maji, tunachimba mashimo, alafu tunaweka hile njia inangia kwa maji kwa shio shimo. Sasa badai kwa sababu tunajua tu hapa tukujua na mvua mingi zaidi. Hasa hiyo maji kisha ingia kwa hiyo shimo, tunatumia kuna njia zingine, tunachota, tunamoka kwa hizo miche, hile ndogondogo kama nyanya, ama miche ndogondogo kama hizo mawembe na zingine. Sasa hiyo maji ndio tunatumia sana sana kwa shamba, kwa sababu watuna mvua ya kutosha. Not only has his farm benefited, even his children have been able to start their own small tree nursery, the products of which they sell to help with the family's income. I have been able to help my family because I have been able to help my family. I have been able to help my family, but I have been able to help my family. I have been able to help my family, but I have been able to help my family. I have been able to help my family, but I have been able to help my family. I have been able to help my family, but I have been able to help my family. I have been able to help my family. Ikuje. Na tena ile maji inaenda tu bora inaribu mashamba. Saizi wanasanya, wanatumia tu kufanya irrigation. By harnessing water in this way, you may also be in a position to start a small fish farm and increase your income as Amos Awiti has done. Kisudu ya kwanza sana ni muhimu is to have water. Na hiyo water ndiyo hata wanyama wanatumia hata sisi nyumbani hapa tunatumia sasa iko na fish pond sehemu na iko na spring water ambayo tunatumia kwa nyumbani hapa na cha pili sisi wajaluo tunapenda fish sasa niliona badala ya kwenda kwa sokoni or kukimbia huko niwe na samaki nyumbani ni ki harvest watu wa hapa ambao wanataka samati wanapata hapa kwangu kwa bei rais kwa maana tunapima tu kwa mkono na mina hii ne wananunua na tena hiyo maji tuna tunafanya na hii vegetables wakati wa drought tunamwagia nini vegetables kuna hii, wakati hiyo wale ambao hawako karibu na mtoni 
wanaangaika wanakuja kununua mboga wanapenda kuuza sasa hiyo ndio tunapata pesa kwa hiyo hiyo fishpond inatusaidia zaidi It's clear that there is a huge amount of water that is completely wasted when it rains and there are simple ways for us to harness this precious resource without even leaving the house Lea Sandi Nyariro constructed a tank which fills with water from her roof every time it rains. Kwa sababu mtoni ni mbali, mtoni ni mbali, tuko na mtoni mbali about kilomita 9. Ndio maana niliona nikisanya maji kwa kwa roofing itasaidia mimi, itasaidia watu wa karibuni hapa kuchota wakati wa wajua. Mvua ikinyesa maji inaanguka kwa roofing alafu maji inateremka inateremka alafu inafuata gaita inaingia kwa ndani ya tangi nikiweka sikio nasikia maji ikitiririka kwa tangi kurururu nasikia inaingia na nyingine haidondoki chini napita tu kwa gaita inaingia the tank takes only three or four heavy downpours before it's completely full and it lasts for six months providing Leia and her neighbors with water for all their household needs. I msaidia mimi sana sana. Kwa maana mtoni ni mbali. Wakati wa jua mtoni hakuna maji. Sasa yangu hii inatumia na watu wanachota. You don't need a big tank if you can't afford it. A simple oil drum collecting water from the gutters can be helpful to you. Mimi nikiona mtu anawacha maji na mwagika chini na ne, roho yangu mimi nafikiri niende nimfundishe ni, ni, ni huyo mtu anunue gaita achote hiyo maji na mwagika chini aweke mahali anaweza kutumia kwa mboga au kwa miti hata mi kwa jikoni yangu naona iko tangi ingine sitaki mwagike chini kijaa hapo nachukua naweka kwa mboga naweka kwa maji kwa 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 miti natumia kwa dasta maji ya kumwagika chini mi sitaki nataka kila mtu ajui hata nikitembea nikiona maji na mwagika na mwambie mwenye miji we jaribu ununue ataka tange kadogo hivi ya kusoia maji hiyo si, si mwagike Good water management is not only about how we collect water, it's also about how we use it. As a precious and increasingly rare resource, we should do everything we can to use it efficiently and wisely. Systems like this multi-storage unit for vegetables maximize the use of available water. The reason why it is best for kitchen garden is that you can get uh, vegetables even during dry season. Like now it is very dry in this area but you can see the the the, the vegetables is very healthy you use a little water and the little water that you use take 2 to 3 days is when you will put like this ones i use 40 liters in a week if you plant this on soil you will use a lot of water at the same time you will keep on watering every day because if you do not do mulching then you will keep on losing a lot of water underground that is why this system is good for people who live in dry areas and it is a, a good system even nowadays when the the climate is not reliable even the way we use our soils will conserve water by keeping it as fertile as possible by adding compost we increase the ability for soil to retain moisture mulching also protects the soil from evaporation as well as the impacts of heavy rainfall increasing the chances of water to infiltrate the soil so there are clearly several ways we can harvest water for our farms but how do we turn this water into safe drinking water for ourselves one of the ways to do this is through one of the very special agroforestry trees the moringa or miracle tree to do this you need to take 5 tablespoons of powdered moringa seed for every 10 liters of water 
You simply sprinkle it over the water and stir it in. You then leave it for one hour. By the time you come back, the water will be clear and due to its antibacterial and antimicrobial properties, it will have killed off 99% of all the bacteria in the water. To be certain it's completely clean, you could then boil the water before drinking. In addition to the benefits of the Moringa, by growing as many other agroforestry and indigenous trees around your farm, you will also help control the water you have by decreasing erosion, absorbing and trapping the rainfall in the soil and also raising the water table so that your crops will have access to the water that is available underground. One thing is critical. We must stop the massive deforestation that is blighting our country as this will have and is already having a terrible impact on us all. Hii machi yetu yote ambao labda ni kutokana na mfua kutokana na mito zetu inafaa tutunze kwa sababu tusipotunza hii maji yakiteremuka kwenda mtoni yanabeba mchanga wetu yanabeba madini yetu yanapeleka mtoni na kisha eh, siltation katika hiyo mto ita, itaendelea kuwa mbaya na tutaribu mito yetu tunahitaji kukua na machi savi na hiyo machi savi tutakuwa nayo tu wakati tutakapo zuia mnyonyoko wa udongo na tutunze kwa njia ya upanzi wa miti water is life we need to respect it and cherish it we need to provide an environment that will encourage rain to fall and encourage it to nourish the soils rather than destroy them if we can do this, we are giving ourselves the gift of life.